Trust Dental Instant Hand Sanitizer to protect against 99.9% .9 of germs without water. Together, let's make South Africa healthier. And remember, Bun and Bunny is on every morning at this time. So remember to tune in tomorrow morning again to see what antics they get up to. Now, did you know more than 35 million people worldwide suffer from a nail infection of one kind or another? And Dr. Lisa Bunga joins us today to tell us more about the importance of nail hygiene. Good morning. Welcome to Expresso. Good morning, Lisa. Now, you've just heard the stats. More than yes. 35 million people worldwide suffer from some, some type of nail infection. Yes. What types of nail infections are there? Of course, there are three basic infections that you get on the nail itself. Firstly, it would be viral infections. Now, that you shouldn't get directly, but it's from people, for example, say you have a cold sore, mm. and then you keep on biting on your nails and touching your mouth, and then you can infect your nail, uh, your finger in fact, and that infection is very painful. And secondly, bacterial. Now, most people will notice when the nail becomes red and swollen mm. and very painful, then you'll know that is a bacterial infection especially on the cuticle, uh, the area of flesh just uh, at the base of the nail. And the third one would be fungal. Those are the ones that affect the nail plate, which is the nail part of your finger directly. And those take very long to treat. So how do you know that you've got one type or the other? Of course, if it's painful very quickly, then you know it's bacterial. Yes, and uh, if it's slower, in, say for example, in the case of a fungal infection, you'll see the nail will change color over time it will become painful, but you know, low-grade pain. And sometimes it uh, bends or it breaks easier. And in prevention, what can people do to prevent this? There are several things I mean we can do. Firstly, I always say to people from a hygiene point of view, short nails are better than long nails. Really? Yes, and I know ladies won't like that. I love my long nails. <laughs> yeah, and you know where the long nails originated? It was from, you know, in thousand years back, the women who were housewives who did nothing. <laughs> you know, just to show off and you know that they're doing nothing, they would have long nails. Mm. Unfortunately nowadays That's very interesting. Yes. Yes. Unfortunately nowadays the ladies are actually more hands on. So you tend to find with long nails you tend to harm your nails much mm. easier. Say for example if you're using the wrong technique to type, you'll harm your nails. Mm. Typing and, with your nails? Yes. Especially if they're artificial. Because then with that because those are kind of uh, attached to your actual nail. Mm you can break that. So I always say to people when they are having artificial needs, they need to take extra precautions, probably wash their hands mm. much more often. Before you do any uh, work on your nails, you wash your nails, use a soft brush to brush underneath the nails, especially mm. if they are long. And what about biting your nails? You know, when we were young, our moms always used to say, don't bite your nails. <laughs> yes, because that becomes habitual. Mm. And, uh, and as soon as you do it, you know, the you normally have hang nails, which is a nice small pieces of meat on your cuticles oh. here. <laughs> People actually sit and bite those. Mm. Now you're actually opening the skin and you're exposing it to infections, mm. which means now it's easier for an infection which was on the skin to move and affect that nail and you have a serious infection that might even lead to you losing the nail. Well, so you're saying good hygiene is important when it comes to looking after your hands and washing your hands, is very important. Of course. Well, thanks, Dr. Lisa Bunker. So there you have it. Wash your hands regularly. And remember, listen to your mom when your mom says, don't bite your nails. And teens, stand by just after the break. We're going to find out about nail art just for you.